Welcome back to Daily Coaching, the elite gameplay series, guys. My name is John. I'm a professional EAFC coach and a top 100 player currently. And today I wanted to talk about creating space and getting those 20 and 0 results. Now, we did this last video in a foot champs match, but I was getting a lot of comments saying, John, can you do it in a full match against elite players, against really good players? players well today we've got a 900 sr player where we actually demolish using the same concepts from that video let's go ahead let's go ahead and get right on into it stop putting your account at risk and using coin sellers because now with fcalert.ai you can follow the trading advice from our chat gpt integrated trader trained by two top traders We're on the fc market for free be one of the first 10,000 signups and gain access to the upgraded beta AI influencer tracker releasing for FC 25 get started trading with AI and guys uh th that AI trading thing is going to be absolutely insane so discords are going to be gone next year and trading with AI is going to be the next thing so make sure you guys sign up soon but okay so let's let's go ahead and try to win a possession here so this is a 900 SR player decent player um, but we basically use himself, we use him against himself. So for me, more focused on the actual, def on the actual attack here. If you guys watch my defense, we are playing pretty structured defense, locking these positions in. So I'm going to try to skip through now, like when you get into higher level players, you're going to hold on to these tight possessions. So I do want to give you guys a quick defensive run here though. And this is where a lot of players lack that ability to close and pinch that location. As you can see, we pinched it. Uh, that's where a lot of people get a little bit more space. So you just have to be really methodical. But here we go. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. Just trying to manage space, managing space, managing space, and just constantly staying within these zones. So I make a bad pass meant to go here. So if you guys watched the last video, it's all about managing space. So if you look at this location, where are we? We're in the perfect spot every single time. I'm trying to get into that incisive pass. Looks like it recovers. So what do I do? I back right out and look at the position I'm in. I'm in like the perfect spot to manage this ball. That's the idea. And I'm just in trying to find that perfect relative space. I'm looking for Kane. I just don't see it. And then I'm actually thinking I'm going to try to pass it here, I think. And so we make the improper pass there. So we did make a mistake there. And then we're on the back on the counter attack. So as the counter attack comes through... You can watch him. He's I I don't get manipulated very easily, and I'm usually seeing where the play is trying to go. That's the idea of, of everything. So if you're able to manipulate me, by all means, you're pretty good. But basically, right through here, you can see I'm in a pretty tough spot. I really need to like back out, but this rotation is going to be coming in. So he's pulling up. I'm waiting, and just straight right through. So then we just wait, wait, wait. So this is what it looks like in elite gameplay is... If you can see this, I'm staying, trying to stay right in that location. We're almost pinpoints the middle of that every single time. I'm on the backside, and I see that little opening in size of pass plus, by far my favorite meta so far this season, uh, being good at passing. So that's a simple, just a simple through pass. And we did, uh, we did clip that one. Just a simple, simple through pass when we are acting like we're going to go one way and we go the other. And so this is how you can destroy your opponent. This is how this is this is where the game is broken down. So okay, so now we're gonna be patient, 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 patient. And so you can see he's trying to be patient. So he opens me up a little bit. We track that into a position. Okay, and so he's offside. So uh, you can see I use this double R one the second I break to try to drag that location. So it actually ended up pulling him offside. If I let that go, he would probably stay on side. I feel. But okay, hold on, hold on, and I'm waiting. There's that manipulation. So he just manipulated this player really high, and now we're going to try to rotate, but we just got caught up just a little bit. He cheekily goes up, and I actually pull the keeper. I don't usually do that very often. Um, and so, again, we're making mistake, making mistakes. Um, again, guys, if, you, if you've been tuning in, I was gone for a few days. I hadn't, I hadn't played the game, and so this is still me working through some rust so there's manipulation we pull them all the way forward look at this poop movement bang one two all the way forward and then this is a very simple play structure through incisive run double play and we just get them a little bit off and then bang so this is this is the core concept of everything i guys i try to teach you is maintaining maintaining uh maintaining the manipulation pulling these players watch this there's the fake and let's let's look at this this is the break right here, all the way up. And now 
instead of him defending here, he pulls that defender up, and then there's the space. It's that simple. One, two, and then instead of making that obvious pass, now he's behind. And so I skip past. These are a little bit of skip past rotations, and we just simple. It's just so simple. This game is so easy. It is so easy. I promise you guys, it's so easy if you can make it simple. If you can just be ahead of them, you can make it simple. So there I take a... a this is where I was super aggressive there coming off of that. And so I'm just jumping, trying to be a little bit cheeky, keeping him on the on his toes. He's trying to do this over-the-top meta, and it's just not working out for him. But okay, we go out wide. We're just going to manage, manage, manage. And I, oh, I just tried to rotate out of that. I couldn't get out of there. So we're going to stay right in this zone right here. Manage that location. We're open. Yep, he hit us. And that's what that's when the 900 SR. They're going to hit that right in that right timing. So uh, he was just a little bit off, but the timing was correct. It was just the space. So here it is again, just a simple run straight through. And then one, two, wait for the finish. I got a, I got a little lucky on that pass. I got a little lucky on the pass. But um, if we go and look at this, what happened? I take the fullback. I go right here. I wait, I pull that player to me, and then I play this one. I play two players to me, and then there's the break right there. And that's all I'm looking for. And then we just perfectly timed. He's expecting to go out out of bound, out the other way. Um, I didn't want Zambrota to take that shot, uh, and so we just wanted to finish that off with Smith. So that's, uh, you know, that's three goals. I think we have one more. Guys, this is the first 20 minutes of a match, right? This is the first 20 minutes of a match. Um, against a 900 SR player. So this is a, again, a 900 SR player. They're good at the game. These guys are good at the game. Anybody below 900, um, you're probably fine at the game. It's just that 900, they're doing stuff consistently to increase that level of skill play, right? Um, but okay, so right here, we're ready for him. Look at that movement. Look at that. We just read his mind. So we shift. We're ready for him. We're ready for him. We're trying to turn around make him miss and so um this is this is what i call a swarm take this is what i call position replacement when my players get out of position this is where i replace so i'm just ready for both sides and then he's rotating i need to get here so i'm a little sloppy here i'm way too late i'm too late i need to be here now and i need to be on the inside of that and i just miss and we just make him miss right anyways i feel like this might be one of the last possessions here and on this so right here one two there's the fake one two there it is look at this build-up movement look at this build-up and just turn and patience we're just trying to get in that space almost get it now we're open on the top side so we stay right in the middle let him let him play our lock let him make a mistake there we go switch one two one patience patience and then there's width and then there's out in space now we're just gonna be patient oh he gave it to us so we're gonna turn inside we're gonna wait we're gonna wait we got nothing we got nothing and look at the pass. Look at the passing. Just simple passing. It's just super simple passing. Look at this movement from all the way from the buildup. So we go all the way back, right? We lose the ball. We get into this position. He makes a small mistake with the player lock. Kind of a weird timing thing, right? Ball comes this way. But I want you to see something. I initiate his fullback right here. Look at his defensive line now. His whole defensive line's out. And so that's where we attack. We attack that space. That's exactly where we go. We take it around the edge. I'm looking at him hard set with full, the fullback he overruns. And then I'm going to try to fake him and pull him off. And that's exactly what we do. And then I get him to come back and I move on to it perfectly timed. And we just give him a shift. And so it's all timing. And that, my friends, is how you beat a 900 SR player 4 nil in 20 minutes and get a rage quit. So until next time, guys, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and we'll check you out in the next episode. Until next time, come by the live stream, check us out. We'll see you tomorrow.